Now this is the kind of noodle bowl that makes me very excited. Perfectly grilled chicken, fresh herbs are oh, so good. Now the thing is that grilled chicken itself can be a little daunting. How do you know it's cooked through? How do you get that beautiful char? I have all the tips and tricks, my friends. Let's do it. Let's make my ultimate Vietnamese grilled chicken noodle bowl. Before we get to my ultimate hack for cooking grilled chicken, we're gonna do the dressing first of all. So start off with some fish sauce, white vinegar, sugar, and water. Give that a stir. And this is like a classic Vietnamese nok chum dressing. It does need a little heating though. So pop a plate on, and I'm gonna use my microwave just to give this a bit of a zap. Now I've partnered with Panasonic for this episode, so I'm using their three-in-one convection microwave oven for this episode. So first of all, I'm just using microwave power, very standard, but we're gonna to get to some really cool tricks later on using the combination grill and microwave power, which is the secret thing, which I've just revealed. But anyway, watch till the end, because you'll see how it really works. <laughs> Holly, my producer's like, Marion, you spoiled it. <laughs> But the thing is, if you're one of those people who's scared of cooking chicken, worried about it cooking through, this really is a cooking technique that you need to know how to do. So keep watching later. First of all though, I need to do the marinade for the chicken. For the marinade, I'm gonna use some lemongrass to give it a really beautiful fragrant flavor. I just need to bruise the stalks with the base of my knife, and then you need to peel off like this really tough outer layer of stalk because that's just really tough. Uh, so finally chop the inner part of the lemongrass, pop it into a bowl, and then add your other aromatics. We've got garlic and then fish sauce. I've got a little teaspoon of ketchup manis here. This is gonna give us a really lovely color. You could also use dark soy sauce here too. Sugar, some black pepper, some oil, mix all of that together. And for the chicken, I am using chicken thighs. The reason I want to use the chicken thigh today is that I really want to replicate that kind of like street food, charcoal, grilled kind of flavor and texture on the top of the chicken. So the skin helps us to do that. And then thighs just stay juicier. So chicken goes into the marinade, give that a really good mix and just set that aside for like 10 minutes or so. That's all it needs. So the sauce is ready in here. Basically just two minutes in the microwave has helped the sugar to dissolve. Now I'm gonna let that cool down. In the meantime, we can start building our bowls. So I have some cooked rice noodles here, and then I'm gonna add lots of greenery. I have this whole plate of beautiful like fresh lettuce and herbs and radishes. I'm just gonna pile up all my bits and pieces, some lettuce, carrot, mint, Thai basil. You could use any mixture of Asian herbs that you want here, really. And then let's go back to the dressing. So now that my dressing is nice and cool, I'm gonna chop up some chilies and add some garlic as well. I'm gonna add in some lime juice. Now this is a really beautiful Nook Cham Vietnamese dressing. So now we're ready to do the chicken. To cook the chicken, I'm gonna place the fillets onto a plate and then pour that marinade on the top. This is a really great way of doing chicken because that marinade will turn into a really beautiful sauce and keep your chicken fillets really nice and juicy. Now to cook the chicken, I'm gonna use what I think is one of the most underrated functions on a microwave oven. A lot of microwave ovens have this function, but no one uses it. Guys, let me show you the way. Okay. Now I have my very special Panasonic microwave oven here, which does have a raised grill. So this helps you out a lot as well. And the chicken goes in the top. And then I use the grill function plus the microwave function together. And I do that for 15 minutes. And that's gonna do all the work. It's gonna cook the chicken through. It's gonna grill the chicken on the top. And I don't have to do anything. I don't have to worry about it. Holly doesn't have to worry about it. So we're all anxiety free. <laughs> Science. <laughs> Science. There's some cool stuff about inverter technology which you might want to know about, Dax. <laughs> Why don't you break it down for the audience? <laughs> well, the thing is Can you that... unpack this for us a little bit? No, because regular microwaves, right, only have on and off power. Like it's either fully on or it's fully off, right? But if you have inverted technology like the Panasonic microwave, the power kind of undulates like this, giving you more even cooking. Easy! Undulates. It's like this. 
up and down like that. Yeah, not like this. Just like this. <laughs> it's a true story and I'm sticking to it. Okay. <sighs> Look at that. It's so good. I love this hack so much. Ah beautifully grilled chicken. It's got like all of that charry business happening on the top. And then look how juicy all of that is on the bottom. So what I like to do here is just kind of like spoon over some of those juices. Everything looking sticky and shiny. So if I do this in my oven, it typically takes me about 30 or 40 minutes to get the same kind of result. Now, before we get into the chicken, guys, I just want to show you one more thing because I would never normally use frozen spring rolls. Now, I would never usually use frozen spring rolls because I have like an Asian mom and she cooks the most amazing spring rolls, but this is an exception. Don't tell my mom. <laughs> When I'm making like a noodle bowl situation and I want to do the added special add-ons, right? I use frozen spring rolls because they're quick, easy, and they cook really well in my Panasonic microwave. Let me show you. Take your frozen spring rolls, put them into your microwave. And again, I'm using combination power here, microwave plus convection, which does the whole thing a lot quicker. And I mean, look at how golden brown and beautiful these spring rolls are. Okay, we've got all of our bits and pieces now. I'm going to slice my chicken. Look at that, look at that color, the color on the skin, look how juicy it looks. Perfectly cooked chicken goes down. Spring rolls, street food vendor style, just snipped with some scissors and your dressing. And there you go, my friends. That is one good looking noodle bowl. Oh. Mixing and eating, that's what we need to do here. Ultimate little mouthful, noodles, spring rolls. That is so good. Like, the chicken is ridiculously juicy. It's just so fresh. Got all these vegetables in here and herbs. Crunchy spring rolls. Yeah. 